needed to make this video for a little while. This is a very quick brute build update. Of course, and as always, I'm going to post my build in my builds document. The link is in the YouTube description. Go there, see all the builds I've got completely for free. Now, the build that I'm going to do involves the new armor as well as the new weapons, which are really, really similar, and these have been out for a while, so I've picked up enough to do almost all my ships, if not all of my ships. For the new armor, you have the uh, Synthian Scale S2M, it's the tier 10.5 version. I'm just going to throw three of each on every ship, and if I don't have enough for all the ships, I'm not going to worry about that too much. Even with just three armors, you are noticing that you are going overweight, which is pretty unfortunate, which means you can't run the best armor. You do have some options, including the old Everest G2 armor, if you really want to only run max damage, but the changes I'm going to may be making include what you saw on the thumbnail of dropping Cluster Warheads 3 down to Cluster Warheads 2 for the simple reason that you are already really, really close to maximum reload with Cluster Warheads 2, and also that you kill nearly all of the turrets on the first pass because they're really easy to kill, they have really low health, you don't actually need to be firing continuous projectiles. Now doing this, you are still overweight unless you go ahead and take off one weapon and drop it down to just a blank slot. Don't worry, we'll come back to that. So this is actually getting much better now. It's a two-day refit to change through all that armor. You can obviously go ahead and take the unlimited cudgel rockets and change them to the knuckle duster rockets if you happen to get in those in pillage and everywhere else. And there'll be a little bit of a longer change here, only a few hours per rocket. The last thing that you can do here, and make sure you do, the, do this across all ships, is to take one of those weapons and change it to something that increases combat speed, which is what I'm going to do here. The best option would actually be the V-Mortar D-75V. The problem is this does change the range to B-85, which means you can't auto anymore, so the next best option that is still underweight is going to be a 5% from the D-35S. Using the cryonic depth charge does make you go overweight, which is unfortunate. So I'm just going to change all my ships to be like this. It will have a slightly higher combat speed, which means you can dodge more of these uh, splash damage weapons which is great and we'll have more armor which is more survival and we'll have a little bit of the extra damage there because this uh, tier 10.5 obviously boosts explosive damage by three percent other options do include using just some of the old everest armor which boosts the explosive and some of these things if you don't want to take your weapons off i really don't think you need to worry about doing less damage because one you're putting on better rockets and two it doesn't take very long to kill anything in this target either the only other thing I should mention here is that the countermeasure ship is a little bit different. I'm just going to go ahead and show you the refit I'm doing on this thing. And this is a very, very similar change. All the new armor, three of each kind. And you're taking out one of these rockets and switching it for a D-35S. Just so you match combat speed, even though you're still way underweight, you can still use Cluster Warheads 3 on this guy. So your remaining three rockets will work out okay. In fact, you can even change those to Knuckle Dusters as well. I'm going to go ahead and put the hash codes to this stuff in the builds document I showed you at the start of the video. Make sure you are using tokens on the Brute and not your regular ship build tokens. I wouldn't waste those on Garrison because the bonuses are actually pretty small. And make sure, of course, that your fleet does have the same combat speed across the board. With that said, I want to go ahead and say thank you to everyone whose names appear on screen now. And until next time, this is going to be Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.